um i'm loving this look i am i feel like i'm even talking very differently but i'm loving it i love how literally seamless it is and how everything is like blended i'm getting this makeup game together uh this year if i you know what i mean like we better get some things together hey everybody welcome to the swear corner for those joining us for the very first time welcome you all welcome for those who are subscribers yay and thank you and welcome to the family and all that good stuff i'm super excited because i don't know why i'm super excited i really like must a good makeup look and i haven't done one well in like four or five days and so i really miss a good makeup look so you guys must bear with me because today i'm going to do like a good makeup look <laughs> As a house rule, my eyebrows are already done because I have two eyebrow videos already up on my channel. Um, I'm going to put, I'm sorry. That's rude. I'm going to put a link up here for both of the videos and then you can go ahead and look at those and then see how I do my eyebrows. My routine hasn't changed since the two eyebrows and so you can go there and then refer there. If you've been coming here for a hundred times and how many times guys I hope you like I hope you subscribe to the channel and that you like the video and that you also leave a comment below we are trying to be consistent in this 2020 days let's get into it because it's gonna be a whole like makeup situation I'm gonna move closer and then yeah let's move in Let's bring the mirror here. Anyway, I didn't prime my face. I broke. Did I apply lotion? I don't know. I think I did. Uh, yeah. Guys, I need to make time to go to the shop properly because my illegal primer is also finished. But I'm going to squeeze the last situation out of it. I am still playing around with the James Charles palette, so I'm going to take that and then we can get started. I am still using my Essence I Love Color Intensifying um, Eyeshadow Base. I have not, I think I'm going to consciously like strategically go out in the shops and find and see if I cannot find eyeshadow bases that you guys can all use. I need to seriously wash my brushes guys oh need to make time to wash my brushes and maybe also get new ones but that's that so i'm just doing using the base Make sure that it's blending in nicely with the with the um, concealer that I used to clean up my eyebrow. To save time, I think I'm going to eyeshadow on the one eye, then go off camera and finish the other one. <sighs> because again, James Charles. There are so many things out, so many colors here. Um, I'm gonna play around with these colors and come up with a good eye look. And figure my life out and then we'll go from there one thing I realized with this palette is that you have to pack the colors on first before you actually blend them out so most palettes are actually like that like eyeshadow palettes where you have to pack color on before you blend especially if you use like a base because now remember your base is wet and so it would suit it would actually be best if you then first like pack, like pack the color on that you want to use and then you go in and then you blend all, like, all the colors together. Right now I'm just using one color. I'm using that shade there. The whole blending situation takes work. 
So you really have to be nicely and patient. I feel like I want something dark. I really wash my brushes, y'all. I'm going to um, go into this dark purple there and right in the my crease. And then take the brush that I was using earlier with my transition colors and just blend the top of it. Just build it up nicely. And I actually want a black. So I'm going to take a different brush and go into the black here. And try and line right here. I'm trying to do is darkening the literally where my bone structure is because that will create a nice cut crease but that's not the idea it's not the black the idea is to have the purple there so I'm gonna go back into the purple the dark purple and then just go over that black as well just blending swiping motion And then at the top, just to blend out that, to soften the top part again, in the purple and the black and my transition color. I'm taking all the way to the brow this time. It's kind of what I'm feeling. See how that's doing. And then I go back into the black because I want it to come out here. And I'm just going to tap the black on. Literally flipping, I'm um, flicking or whatever you call it, flicking it into my eyebrow at the tip there because I want it to come out a little bit. I want that area darkened. I'm just gonna then cut my crease. You just go with hooded eyes, you put dip your eyeshadow into the thing into the eyeshadow, you put it in the center, and then you open your lid like that. Where the where the, the dot there um, ends is where you then cut your crease. I like to create like a much wider um, lid space for the cut crease that I usually take it much deeper, as deep as I can. What that looks like I'm going to go into that I'm 
I'm gonna go into um, pink here, put that in the middle. Take a different brush and go into that shade there. It's a very, very light shade. I don't like the way that crease looks, so I'm gonna go back in with a smaller brush. A very tiny brush. I'm going to the black and try and darken the crease and then I'm going to take this gold and go right in the crease as well take my black eyeliner and line I want it to be much deeper than usual so I'm going to go in here somewhere And I love the way that looks. Take my eyeshadow base and just a little of the bottom because I want it to pop. Smaller blending brush and just blend this part out. Then I'm going to go in with the black and the purple and yeah. There's this nice um, shimmer colors here. I'm going to take that one and put it in the inner corner of my eye. It fits it so nicely. Ooh, I think I'm going to try and see if I don't put it at just here. Such a beautiful color. I'm a sucker for shimmers, guys. I am a real sucker for shimmers. I'm gonna just put on a bit of mascara I'm going with Revlon
and then I'll go over with a Dem Beauty Blender. Make sure everything is blended out nicely. I haven't used this color, um, Colors Limited Full Coverage Mousse, no, like all. So I'm going to go in with them. And then my oldie but a goodie um, L'Oreal stick. Maybelline concealer and I'm going to use it right at the top of my lip to cover the dark patches. I don't really like a contoured nose but for the purpose of this look I'm going to contour a little bit just a little bit and I'll use the same brush I mean yeah that I was using to blend out everything else to just go all the way up all the way up to my eyebrow to give me that arch here that I don't already have that it just highlights it nicely because this is where I highlight and I like to create that like there's a proper depth there Ooh. and then I'm going to go in with oh set what am I setting what is this concealer is so dry I don't even know if I want to properly set so I'm going to set my entire face with the black opal invisible oil blocking press powder what I'm going to use to set and with these fluffy thingies I don't know what you call them because that is already too dry for me there I don't want to put more product there you know to dry to bake I don't want to bake because you've seen it it's dry it's matte so I'm just going all over my entire face Mind you, I'm just like petting in there and that's what I'm petting all over my face. I'm not really using a lot of product at all because my face is now dry. It's winter. So, and then my ever um, lash, you guys know it. And then I'll go in with my ColourPop press powder brush, I mean powder, you see how much I use it. All right, so let's finish this off. And I'm going to go into my, I'm such a creature of habit, I really am. But I love a black lip, dark lip. So I'm gonna go in with a Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color from Rimmel, this is the Rosetto Liquid. I am a creature of habit. I know people like to line their lips, but I'm not the person who really likes to line her lips. So, I need to smell good and everything. And that's it. That is the final look, guys. What do you think? The purple the pink look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. I gave you a little bit of everything. I felt creative tonight. I felt like I really needed to do something. And because we're trying to be consistent in the streets, we are going to be filming whenever we feel creative. And it means it is. That time of the night. But this looks so pretty. I love it so much. Like there's something about a dark lip that I really love. It's amazing. Okay. Quickly, I want to explain to you why I didn't use a bronzer or a dark powder to do to go on my cheeks. Like I feel like my face is losing, like has lost a little bit of weight, 
and so if I put like a contour stick on my cheek like I did now to create that emphasis on my bone on my like chisel cheek I don't and I don't really go in and use a darker powder to bronze it all up or contour it as well I just go over with like a setting powder all over my face and if I also feel like the like now the color this concealer that I used um, this mousse here is so matte because my face is already dry I will not go in and then use and bake or set I know and bake because I will then go in and set my entire face with the translucent powder that has been my my thing lately and especially in winter I like I'm trying to create like um, healthy habits for my skin there's like a hair somewhere that I can't touch but anyway so that so I won't go in and then bake so baking is not always a necessity all you need to do is set so I set my entire face it's winter my face can go like this for 24 hours my face will be like heck yeah that is what that is so I don't need to give you anything else I don't need to put anything else on my face oh look at how my piercing came in anyway it still looks cute and I don't need to give you anything else for um, my face to like sit so you can see it's literally met met because all the like yeah and so my face needs that and then, then it's happy and it doesn't feel too cakey or too dry um, it feels good it feels happy I don't know if I do it with the powder you don't always need to but I love the way this has turned out I'm enjoying playing around with this James Charles palette I can't wait to create another look like tomorrow or later or whenever I'm going to create another look the hair just doesn't want to stop and that's it y'all um, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you like and that you comment and that you subscribe to the channel to help it grow. Let's hit our thousand subscriber mark. Thank you for everybody that's already referring people to come to the channel that's sharing the videos. I'm seeing it and I really appreciate it. Let me know if there's anything that you want me to film on my channel that you want to see. Put it in the description in the comment section below.